Hello friends, today we are going to calculate the degree of crystallinity of a material using XRD. Degree of crystallinity is can also be considered as the signal to noise ratio. Here as we can see the peaks, the sharp peaks are the signals and uh, the noise that we can see are uh, coming from the other areas that are available in this XRD pattern. So, the higher this signal to noise ratio, the higher will be its degree of crystallinity. So, here today we will learn to calculate the degree of crystallinity of this XRD pattern. For this, what we need to do is we need to go to analysis, peaks and baseline, peak analyzer, open dialog. Here we have already seen this particular dialog that is peak analyzer for calculating the crystallite size in our previous video. Here what we will do is we will integrate the peaks or we will calculate the area of the peaks that are available and then divide that particular area of the peaks by the area under this particular pattern, total area of this pattern. Okay. For this we will just select integrate peaks. Next here we will set a baseline. So for this we will select asymmetric here we will select the appropriate baseline for this particular pattern as we can see here this is ok click next here we can find but when we find the peaks what we can see is not all the peaks are selected or uh, not all the peaks are selected here so in order to select other peaks just Untick this and click on add. Here we can add each individual peak. We need to add each and individual each peak available in this particular pattern to calculate the degree of crystallinity. So I will select all the peaks. Okay. So all the peaks are selected here, click done. So here I think there is some problem, they are not selected well. This particular peaks are not at the values, so we will modify them or delete them. First here, modify. Now for this particular peak we will delete it and once again we will add the peaks, we will add this and also this particular peak. So all the peaks are added here into this particular pattern and now just what we will do is we will click next and here what we can see is show peak integrated area. Also what we can see is all the peaks are selected and the area under the curve or area under the peak can be calculated. So, we will just click finish. Once we click finish, what we see is here in this particular worksheet or uh, workbook, we got a new integration results or we got the integration results, and this is the area of each integer, each individual peak. So, we will copy this, we will copy this to an Excel file. In this particular Excel file, here I will paste it and sum it up. So the total area under the peaks can be calculated here. So this is the total area under each individual peak or uh, in under all the peaks sorry. And now what we will do is we will calculate the area under the total pattern. So for this same we will repeat the same thing we will plot it. Here we have our curve or the XRD pattern. Now go to analysis, peaks and baseline, peak analyzer, open dialog. Here everything will be the same as we have done earlier except for the peaks that we have. Here. 
we'll just select by number and select a single individual peak and click find once we find this we'll click next here what we can see is we can see the area selected here and uh, or the peak is selected here we'll adjust the preview graph and by adjusting the preview graph what we'll do is we'll select the complete pattern the complete pattern is selected means all the peaks and complete pattern is selected no doubt and now what we'll do is we'll just click finish so this is the second integration that we have performed on that same data that we had that is this data no so the worksheet will be named as second integrated curve or results of its second integration and the area under this particular complete pattern is given here so i'll copy this and paste it in the excel file so this is for the peaks area for the peaks and this is for the pattern so the degree of crystallinity is defined as the area uh, is defined as the ratio of area under the peaks by area under the total curve or total pattern so what into 100 so we'll first have this divided by area under the peaks divided by area under the pattern and multiplied by 100 so the degree of crystallinity is found to be 91.33% so here we can write it in our graph that we have already plotted here so we will write here crystallinity crystallinity equal to area of line peaks area of the pattern and this is equal to Ninety-one point three three percent. So, in this way, we can calculate the crystallinity of the pattern. So, thank you for watching this video, and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.